Today's artisan loaves and big old bagels, well, they need a new kind of toaster. So Adam's here and he's gonna tell us which long slot toasters won our testing. Oh man, Bridget, toasters have been a test kitchen consternation <laughs> for years. Most of them are no good. Shortly after finding one that was decent, it got discontinued. <laughs> Shortly after finding a replacement for that one, the price went up to $250. Crazy. But we're very happy to be testing these long slot toasters because this is a more contemporary design. That sure. artisan bread that you were talking about, that's the kind of thing that people are baking at home. It's also now outselling straight up sandwich bread in the supermarkets. Yeah, bread is no longer just square. Exactly. So these can handle big thick slices of artisan bread, regular sliced bread, bagels, English muffins, whatever you want. There are eight different toasters in our lineup. They're all that long slot that you mentioned. The price range was $36 to $249.95. And to test them, testers toasted and toasted and toasted some more. They toasted all three kinds of breads that we talked about, mm -hmm. the bagels, the artisan, and the sliced bread at light settings, medium settings, dark settings. They tested all the features. They tested a few different batches consecutively and then felt the outside to make sure that they didn't get too hot. Mm -hmm. In the top three contenders, testers made 365 consecutive pieces of toast just to try and simulate a year's worth of use. The testing in terms of the toast at all three settings, light, medium, and dark, not so great really? across the board. Still. Pretty uneven results. The light setting generally produced barely warm, very pale slices of bread. The dark setting often produced burnt pieces of toast Jeez. and the medium setting, you could get a nice medium piece of toast, but you had to fiddle with it constantly. There were only two that were really sort of reliable in terms of the settings. That was these two here, where you could get the setting that you called for without a ton of fiddling. Okay. Now, you want a toaster to be super easy to use, right? It's the morning, you're making toast, you don't want to have to read an owner's manual. Barely awake. <laughs> exactly. So Bridget, in the midst of all of this toast talk, I feel the need for a bagel. <laughs> Could you help me out, please? Oh, you want me Could, to do it for would you? you? <laughs> yes, please. Could you toast me a bagel in this beautiful pale green model here? It's gorgeous, I love the it, color. They're really all beautiful. Right. Lever down. Most people would do it exactly like you would. I would have done it too. It turns out that this toaster is not the no-brainer that a toaster should be because on the bagel setting, only the outside elements heat up. So if you want the face of your bagel to toast, you have to put it in with the cut sides facing out. Right. So this is not what you're looking for no, from a toaster. No. You just want it to work the way it should work, exactly. not these weird things. Now, let's talk about the dimensions of the slots. These long slots usually measured in length between 10 and 10 and a half inches. Mm -hmm. But in order to fit two slices of bread, just standard sliced sandwich bread in side by side, those would only fit into the slots if they were more than 10 inches. Otherwise, they were a little squished, a little sure. bent. You didn't really want that. Now, in terms of the slot depth, the slot depth measurements ranged from six and seven eighths inches to four and three quarter inches. The four and three quarter inches was a little too shallow because when you put it down, you would get a piece of the bagel or a piece of the bread still sticking up above the slot and that wouldn't toast. So you would end up with this sort of rare stripe at the top of your <laughs> toast, which you didn't really want. It was also a surprise to testers that the depth of the slot didn't really correspond to how easy it was to get the toast out of the toaster when it was done. Some of these things, when the carriage popped up, the toast was still setting down too low mm. and it was sort of hard to grab it. A little tempting to go in there. Some of them, our favorite green guy here, and this one had the opposite problem. When the carriage popped up at the end of the toasting cycle, it was so violent that sometimes the toast flew up and out of the toaster, either onto the counter or sometimes onto the floor. Like in a cartoon, you see? <laughs> it was always good for a laugh, but it was actually not that great for the toast. And were it not for that flying toast act, this would have been our winner. This is the Dash Clear View Toaster. It was actually pretty consistent in terms of its toasting performance. It was $36.03, which is a good price That's for the stupid. toaster. It's got this window here so you can see what's going on without interrupting the toasting cycle. You can monitor your toast. It heats pretty evenly. So this one is our best buy. 
This is the overall winner. This is the Breville the Bit More toaster. It was $79.99. It was a pretty even toaster, didn't require much fiddling, and it had a lot of features that the testers really liked. It's got a bit more button, so if you want a little more time for a slightly darker toast, you just press that. It's got a lift and look lever so you can monitor what's going on without interrupting the cycle. It's got this bar of lights that shows you where in the cycle you are. All in all, for $79.99, Pretty good toaster. I love that little button. So just a little bit more color on there. Who couldn't use a little bit more color? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We all need a little zhuzhing, don't we? We do. Well, there you go. You want breakfast in the morning, good toast. Why not get a great toaster? And our winner is the Breville, the bit more toaster. It's $79.99. Or you can go get our best buy. It's the Dash Clearview toaster for $36.03. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>